The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Harvard Crimson. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Crimson could be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do they have to do if they want to have a chance to win tonight? Well, partner, here's what I see as the key to the game. First of all, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Second, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Now trying to feed the low block. He looks at the hoop. Now the turnaround jumper. And in and out. Number 10 takes the pass. away. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They go into the low block. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He keeps his dribble as they reset. They'll work it around the arc. On the inside. Looking for the foul. He drains it. Side. The shooting guard takes the feed. Right at the circle. Way off target. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. High post screen. He shoots from right at the circle. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Number 15 is fired up right now emotionally. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Nice high post. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. He'll get one shot. Got it from the free throw line. Felt by the defender. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. From right in the circle. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. High post flashes for the opportunity. The small forward with the ball. He tries the three. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It will be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to feed the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. There's a steal. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The small forward gets the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. Questionable shot selection there. That shot was definitely over-advised. Down inside, the power forward gets the pass. And he scores despite the hack. it up. Double team now, bad angle. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups.
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dave. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Entry pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. That was nice. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great ball by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. From three-point territory, off the rim and no good. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He unloads a three. Kansas State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. There's the trap. Goes up for two. They still don't score. They get it out into transition. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. That's a seven zipper up. Both teams looking to get things going here. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they've done a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Two. Can't get the shot to drop. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 9 nothing run. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Number two comes up with it. Look at that spacing. And the ball goes out of bounds. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Shoots. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. On the inside, leaning in, trying to draw contact. And in and out. Challenging like that really makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. Obvious foul. He could make the easy inside hoop off the screen. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Number 30 steps to the line for the first time. Makes the first. Both free throws go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. On the outside. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. 
Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He makes the first. And he got them both. They're working around the perimeter. Got a man in high post. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. He looks for three. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. The Crimson's have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Now they work it around the perimeter. He lets it fly. Kansas State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint, trying to draw some contact. perimeter on the inside puts it up looking for contact picked out of the air gave it up and he'll kick it back outside they'll work it around the arc with a great block. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Great anticipation defensively. He shoots from left of the circle. Long jumper won't go. Both teams looking to get things going here. He fakes the shot. Number 50, pump fakes. With a little baby hook. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Kansas State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the angle. Gets it to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He gets the rejection.
Number 30 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. At the free throw line. It's the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Jumps in. Goes in. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Gave it up. Number 50 with the foul. Third team foul. Number one gets in on the action for the first time tonight. He has a great presence when he steps on the floor, Brad. Number 22 goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They move it into the front court. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. There's a high screen. Number one. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. Number 24 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. Misses. He takes the rebound. Working it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. He buries it. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Foul charge. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. And the ball goes out of bounds. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Picks off the pass. A 
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. There's a double team waiting there. Top of the circle. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Off the rim and no good. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing them off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From right in the circle, he misses the fadeaway. Look at that spacing. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up for two and off the mark. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Looking for a good shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work the perimeter. Puts it up. The Crimsons have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Turns it over. Here they come, trying to run again. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. to pick up the defense here now. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. They work it into a double team on the post. Number one steals the ball. On the outside, he shoots from the top of the key. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Well, he's on fire. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Shot clock is dead. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Fakes it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Hey, hey, hey. 
way off target. Trying to beat the buzzer. At the end of the first half, the Crimson are trailing by six. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Harvard seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. The small forward receives the pass. It's good. The Wildcats lead by nine. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Tries for two. He hits the shot. I want to see that again. Up and inside. There was no doubt about that one. I have to see that one again. Dumps it in. The frustration right there. The small forward receives the ball. They work it around the perimeter. He puts it up. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Off the rim and no good. Number 30 in the paint. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. He's going to muscle it on the inside. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as far to the rack as anybody out there. Number 20 subs back in. Hey, that little breather may just have been what the doctor ordered. Is that how they say it? That's saying, Brad? The Crimson are down by 12. Wow, the defender walks into a vicious screen. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Moving it around the perimeter. Makes an outstanding block. Jumped in front to take it away. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. In and out. doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. 
He goes to the line for the first time. Gets his first. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Gets two at the charity strike. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Great job of freeing himself with the screen. With shot move go. Makes the shot. The power forward handles the pass. Takes away the pass. He puts up the tray. Rims out. The ball goes out of play. Nick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatch. The fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They work the perimeter. The center handles the feed. Almost lost the basketball. Looking for contact. Kansas State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. And the ball goes out of play. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Top of the circle, they were. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket, and in and out. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes the shot off the baseline. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. He launches a three. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. On the outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Let's see that up close. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Kansas State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Looking for a good shot. He pump fakes. He shoots from the baseline. 
The Crimson's have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They work it around the perimeter. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Goes up for two. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Good fake. Jump hook from the low block. Doesn't go. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dude. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. around the perimeter. Coming inside. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brian, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. That's basic. Kicks it out. He goes for the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Picked off. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Count it, and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the first time. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. Number 50 walking back out onto the floor. He needs to get himself warm playing defense first before he starts to think about offense. The lay -in. The Crimson trail by nine. Fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Working it around the perimeter. Nice fake. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. <laughs> a 
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the deuce. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. We'll take the shot. He buries the shot. They work the perimeter. Got the high pick. From right in the circle. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Makes a great move to draw the foul. A chance for two. Gets it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Hits that one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. He gets the board. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Harvard are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. Down. He buries it. The Crimson are trailing by 10. Picks off the lazy pass. He throws it down court. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime. Little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They'll work it around the arc. From the top of the circle, he nails the tray. This is worth the second look. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Pushing that basketball. Steal. He tries a jump hook. In and out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Steals the pass. Pushes it up. For the bucket. 
He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Barring some sort of miracle, I think this one could be over, Dick. It is over, Brad. I'm no math major, but even I can figure this one out. He shoots from right of the circle. Rims out. Jumped in front to take it away. Appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. The Crimson have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Guns up the deep one. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Accepts it. They run it up into transition. Looking for the foul. Finger roll. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He gets the foul off the pro hop. He was going full steam ahead on that move. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Gets them both to fall. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Dump it inside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Turnover City now always really the gate. And he walked Seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Unloads. He can't get the bucket to fall. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The ball goes out of play. 
You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. He takes a three, sinks it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Picked out of the air. Shot clock is dead. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Gave it up. Number 32 is called for the foul. Fifth team foul. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Dick, you said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Wildcats is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.